Yo, what's good everybody, it's your boy Toyang Kim, and for those of you who don't know, I am currently a <laughs> software engineer up in Silicon Valley, and I have heard so much about Algo Expert and Systems Expert, like I'm sure you have if you're watching these type of tech videos on YouTube, and I wanted to take a look and see if it is actually any good or not. Also, before we start this video, I just wanted to do a quick plug for my Buy Me A Coffee link at Buy Me Coffee slash Toyang Kim. If you are interested in some type of career consultation, whether that be a resume review, or just wanting to talk to somebody who is in the tech field and wanted to get some advice on terms of next steps and how to progress your career and how to land your dream job or wherever you want to go, uh, feel free to check it out at buymeacoffee.com. I offer some career consultation packages if you are ever so interested. So just for some context, the way that I prep for my interviews to get my job at my current bank company and just how I tell people to interview prep in general is typically to go through cracking the coding interview first, do every single problem in there, and then graduate and move on to lead code and do just tons and tons of questions and grind it out on there. And this is the exact strategy that I use to get my internship offers at Microsoft and to also get full-time job offers at Qualtrics, Google, Microsoft, and a whole bunch of other companies as well. So I'll be separating this review into three main sections, what I like, what I don't like, and would I use it for my own interview prepping process again? So the very first thing that I like about Algo Expert versus LeetCode is the fact that Algo Expert it only gives you good questions to do. Because there are so many questions on LeetCode, that's true, but there's also like a lot of really, really bad questions. This ain't it, Chief! A lot of these problems test you on very specific algorithms or they don't give you enough context to really solve the problem or they're just straight up worded very, very badly. So Algo Expert solves the most annoying part about lead code in that you never have to worry about is this a good question or not. You are guaranteed to get a perfectly curated question by the Algo Expert team, which at least from what I've seen from the questions that they have offered seem to be pretty good so far. I also enjoy a lot of smaller features that Algo Expert has, such as the stopwatch feature as well as the ability to save multiple solutions. I think the stopwatch feature is actually super useful because there are so many times when I'm on lead code and I end up just being so frustrated because I'm just like too prideful and have too much of an ego to give up on solving a problem and looking at the solution instead and I end up spending like an hour and a half on one problem which is Ain't nobody got time for that! And on top of nobody having time for that is the fact that in real life interviews you are not going to be given an hour and a half, two hours to do one problem. You're going to be given 30, 40 minutes max for one question and I think that Algo Expert having that stopwatch in the upper right hand corner is really useful because not only does it kind of prevent you from wasting way too much time on one question but it also gives you a more real realistic practice interview scenario where you are really constrained to 30, 40 minutes at a time and you can kind of just keep yourself accountable that way. I also really like the ability to save multiple solutions for one question because for certain questions such as like graph questions or tree questions, I typically try to implement it recursively and iteratively as well. And back on Leak Code, I, it was a super janky way that I did it. I would just write out two solutions and I would just comment one solution out, like I would comment out the recursive solution to test the iterative one, I would comment out the iterative one just to do the recursive one. So it is really useful that Algo Expert lets you have multiple solutions to one problem. And last but not least is the video explanations that they have. So just for a full disclaimer, I actually haven't watched every single video explanation. I haven't done every single problem, but from the very few that I have done, I have seen that the videos are pretty high quality and I am pretty confident that as long as you have some basic type of coding knowledge, you will be able to understand the explanations and how they walk you through them. And then now let's move on to what I don't like. So the first thing that I'm not the biggest fan of is the UI. Uh, I'm not saying that it's bad, right? I'm just saying that it's kind of clear that the designers are also engineers. And also just for full disclaimer, that's not a diss because I'm an engineer and I'm not a designer. You know, everyone has their own skill set. But when I look at Algo Expert, something about it is just missing that like extra touch of like, extra refinement that is just not quite there. And another aspect of the UI that I found a, a little bit kind of confusing was the fact that even after I created a paid account, I still had the what is Algo Expert, what is Systems Expert tab. And I feel like, you know, I don't need those tabs anymore once I create an account. I already know what each product is. And I would much rather, after logging in, just be transported directly into the questions, whether that be Algo Expert or Systems Expert questions. I think it's just a better user flow. But once again, this is just nitpicking on my end. And the second thing that I don't like is the videos. Damn! While the videos are super in-depth and explain the concepts and the problems really, really in-depthly, there are certain times where I just don't feel like I need to watch a 30 to 40 minute long video explanation for one question. And look, I know that Algo Expert does have just the code solutions in their sample solutions section, but that's also a little bit too little information. And don't get me wrong, these super in-depth explanations are super useful and really important for certain questions that are very difficult conceptually to understand. But maybe this is the fact that this is not my first time interview prepping and I'm a little bit more seasoned than the average 
average Joe. But I think that I kind of sometimes just want a very, very brief solution explanation to the code that's provided. Maybe like one to two paragraphs explaining the general logic and thought process behind it. Because once again, I don't want to have to sit through a 30 to 40 minute video. Sometimes I just want to read a short little paragraph just to get the general gist of how the solution was implemented. All right, so last but not least, would I recommend it? Short answer is yes. Long answer, it depends. The reason why I say that it depends is because currently at the time of recording, which is early February of 2021, there are only 125 questions at their list. And while 125 questions is a pretty good amount of questions to practice from, there are still just so many more practice problems on leak code. And I do think that after people go through 125 of them, they still want to get a little bit more practice under the belt, you know, get a few more reps in the gym. Love. We are talking about practice. And I think that leak code is still the most dominant platform to do that. So I don't think that algorithm expert is actually a lead code replacement and actually I believe that I've seen some LinkedIn posts where Clement Mielescu, the CEO of Algo Expert, has actually said that he doesn't believe that Algo Expert is a replacement for a lead code either. If anything, I would say it's more of a cracking the coding interview replacement because I think that the content that it has in terms of its data structures crash course is very similar to what cracking the coding interview does in terms of explaining all the data structures and algorithms that you need as well as the list of 125 curated questions are very good but once again you kind of want a little bit more depth and more practice than just those 125 practice problems. So in terms of who should purchase Algo Expert, I think if this is your very first time going through the interview prepping process, then I definitely think that Algo Expert is the way to go. I wouldn't purchase Cracking the Coding interview. Instead, I would just go straight into Algo Expert because I think it provides a solid foundation as well as a good baseline set of 125 practice problems for you to go on from. But I wouldn't stop with just Algo Expert. I would also look into Lead Code as well just to you know see way more questions and to get more reps than just 125 questions under your belt because you know practice makes perfect but then what about those people where it's not their first time interview prepping like someone like me who has already currently working at a job at a thing company but is still wanting to interview to jump ship to another company is algo expert worth it well, I think it depends. If you're one of those people who are very confident in their interview prepping abilities, then I don't think you need the extra support that Algo Expert gives you, and you're much better off just going into lead code and grinding out crazy amounts of questions, reps after rep. But if you're somebody that likes to have a little bit more support through the process, maybe you're just not as confident in your interview prepping abilities, or it's been a while since you last interview prep, I think that Algo Expert is a great way to refresh your mind about all these types of topics and questions that they're gonna throw at you. And then after you finish all 125 of those questions, then you're better off moving on to lead code to get more practice and more reps under your belt. But also on top of Algo Expert, I think you're actually better off getting the bundle of Algo Expert and Systems Expert because you know, as you're a more mature software engineer, one of the big things that you're gonna be tested on in your interviews is system design questions. I think that the whole industry in terms of system design interview prepping material is a little bit sparse compared to interview prepping, like the coding interview challenges. And I do think that out of what's out there currently right now, Systems Expert is a pretty good resource for you. They cover a lot of material and have a lot of really great questions and explanations as well. And from what I've seen in my very brief research of what's available for systems design prep, I do think that Systems Expert is a pretty good bargain. Well, that's my review of Algo Expert and Systems Expert as a current FANG engineer. I think it is a pretty good product that's not for everybody, but it's still for a lot of people. It's primarily for the people where it's their first time interview prepping or for the people who need a little bit more support and hand holding through the interview process with those video lectures and video explanations. If you fall into one of those two categories, then I highly recommend that you check out Algo Expert. But if you're one of those people who is very confident in their interview prepping abilities, I would say you really don't need Algo Expert and all the extra video explanations. And I think you're much better off going straight into lead code and just pumping out those questions day in day out. Well, once again, thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope that you enjoyed the content. And if you did, please feel free to hit that like button, you know, turn that button blue. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And also feel free to buy me a coffee if you want to at the link down below. Once again, thank you so much for everything and I'll see you in the next one.